skin boils are a common skin infection that is usually caused by bacteria. The bacteria enter the skin through a break in the skin, such as a cut, scratch, or a mosquito bite. Skin boils can also be caused by factors such as stress. If you are stressed out, your body releases hormones such as adrenaline and cortisol. These hormones can trigger the sweat glands to produce more sweat. Sweat contains oil and bacteria that can cause skin boils to form. Hi, this is Onis from Amerigin.com. Today, I will be talking about relationship between stress and boils. But before we proceed further, please share this video with your friends and family. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you want me to keep on sending you important information on how to identify and prevent bacteria infections on your skin. Also, smash that bell notification icon so that I can keep on sending you important similar health information like this. So, what is stress? Well, stress is the body's natural response to events or demands that are perceived as threatening or challenging. It is a protective mechanism that helps people stay alert, focused, and motivated. Higher level of stress can lead to physical and emotional problems. Under normal circumstances, stress provides important benefits. However, when stress becomes chronic or excessive, it can lead to health problems. Stress can cause many health problems. We all know that. It can cause poor sleeping habits and fatigue, which can eventually increase the risk of chronic conditions such as diabetes. And also, it can increase blood pressure, which increases your risk of heart disease and stroke. So, you might be asking yourself, how stress is related to skin boils? Well, many people think that stress is only a mental condition, but it can also have a physical impact on the body. One example of this is a boil. Stress can increase the risk of developing boils and can make them worse if they do occur. Okay, let's examine few examples of how stress is related to boils. Well, believe it or not, in most people, mental stress can actually cause peripheral vessels to constrict. Your own immune system is also affected by stress. The body's response to stress is to produce more of the cortisol hormones which can cause the skin to become dry and flaky, leading to boils. So, how do you get rid of stress-related boils? Well, the best way to deal with stress boils is to identify what's causing the stress and find ways to manage it better. It is important not to ignore the stress because it can lead to other health problems that affect your performance in a negative way. Well, for an example, you can reduce the stress of dealing with with an upcoming deadline by taking measures beforehand that will help you manage it. Identifying what 
causes stress is important because it will allow you to take action before you get completely overwhelmed. Now, the next big question is how to deal with stress-related boils. Okay, stress-related boils are a common problem that can affect anyone. The good news is that there are few steps you can take to help reduce the chance of developing them and to treat them if they do occur. Let me show you some few tips. Number one, to reduce stress in your life as much as possible. I am aware that this is easier said than done, but it is important. Find way to relax and distress. Try some simple relaxation techniques like yoga, meditation, or deep breathing exercises. Number two, eat a healthy diet. Make sure you are getting enough fruits and vegetables and that you are avoiding processed foods and sugar. Number three, drink plenty of water. Dehydration can make skin more prone to boils. Number four, keep your skin clean and dry. Boil often form when bacteria get trapped in a blocked pore. Number five, do not scratch, pick, or apply cream to the boil area. Number six, if you have a boil on your face, try to prevent water from making contact with the affected areas on your face. Number seven, wash your hands after using the toilet and before handling food. Number eight, again, wash your hands with soap before and after preparing or eating food. Number nine, avoid touching your face, especially between your thumbs and fingers to avoid spreading germs to other people. Number 10, keep your fingernails trimmed. Most people forget about this. Again, keep your fingernails trimmed so that you do not scratch yourself and spread germs to other people. Look, I always tell people that prevention is better than kill. You should always know the causes of boil and infection on your skin to avoid getting one. If you have boils on any part of your body, I will leave a link at the bottom of this video for some medication that can help you out. Make sure you watch the next video coming up where I discussed in details how to prevent heat boil scars on your skin.